Okay, welcome back. Today we're going to tie a little uh, kind of a hopper terrestrial pattern. First, I want to show you my new logo. Get pretty close here. Western PA Fly Fisher. Nice fly. Designed by the printing press in uh, Pittsburgh, Moon Township, uh, Pennsylvania. Got some shirts, got some hats. Everything came out wonderful. Let me attach my uh, trash box here. Alright, what I have in advice is a barbless size 14 dry fly hook. Fly we're going to be tying is this little uh, terrestrial pattern that I've been working on. Uses a calf tail wing and tail. What's nice about this calf tail, it sheds water very quickly. It's a high rider on the water and should it get swamped, one false cast is all you need to uh, get her floating high again. So with that said, let's get started on the fly. What I have as thread is some Danville 70 denier. I'm going to use this cream color. Get started on right behind the eye. Wrap it backwards. Just cut away that tag end. Wrap it back to the top of the bend of the hook. Good, park it there. Don't cut your thread on that point. Very sharp hooks. I'm going to use a little uh, beeswax on the thread so we can help it bite into the hair. I take a small amount of the calf tail. Take a little more than what you think you need at first. You're still going to make a small tail, but you want to take all the short hairs out of it after you cut it away. Cut it away at the base. Let's take all the short hairs out of it. Just take all the fluff. See all that just builds up in there. Just take it all out of there. Clean it all out. Thin it up. Now you want to take any long hairs, which I don't think there's too many long hairs in this batch here. Sometimes there is. Alright, that should be good. Place the tail right on top of the shank of the hook. You don't want it very long. You just want it less than a shank, half of a shank of a hook in length. Sit it right on top. Start with a little pinch. Bring it straight down. Let's do one wrap. Let's go backwards on the wrap. See how long it is before we start. Let's move it up forward here. Just to shorten it up. Here we go. Wrap the thread forward a couple of times. Nice and secure. Tail's about the right length. Now let's go ahead and cut away the excess at an angle. Don't cut the thread. Here we go. Secure it. Let's take that thread, bring it back to the base of the tail. And now we're going to add a little dubbing. Dubbing we're going to use is Kapok Semper Fly. The color is uh, Pale Olive. Just a uh, contrasting color from what the wing is, is kind of how I chose it. Take a little pinch. Thin it out a little bit. Lay it right on the side of the thread. Hands are a little slippery. I had some put some lotion on them and a little dry, so I got a little little tipsy cup some water in it. Spin it on just like that. And let's go ahead and uh, dub it up. Work it forward, keeping that noodle tight. All the way up. That looks pretty good. And we're gonna go back over top of itself just a little bit. Or taper. There we go. Now we're going to add some legs. Legs we're using is this uh, some feathers from this partridge skin. I chose the brown from the top, not the uh, white from the bottom there. Take that and cut away with 
feathers like this, I already used this once, so we're going to reuse it again. Stroke back all the feathers, or all the barbarals, I guess, on this. Just cut away the center portion of it. Bring those, stroke that feather forward again. And now you're going to tie in some legs. Just take that V that you just created, put it on either side of the fly, pitch it, and with a nice loose wrap, tie it in a couple of times, pull that feather forward, nice and even, about like that. Keep those lengths uh, in check here. It's a little more forward. Alright, that should be good there. Pull that uh, feather back, let's tie it in. Alright, some good looking legs. Let's cut away. The excess of the feather. Wrap it back just a little bit. And now we're going to tie in another batch of calf tail here. And we're going to make this the wing. So pull a little clump out. You don't want to get too much. You don't want too thick, but you don't want too thin. So just take a little more than you think you need again. Cut it away at the very base of the tail. The color I'm using is just uh, a dark brown that I have. You can use actually a uh, lighter tan if you want, or I have a few white ones. The color varies on uh, on the fly you want to make. This one here, I like the dark dark brown to make it a just a searcher pattern, basically. Let's get all that fluff out of the bottom there. Yeah, get it to a nice wing size. Like I said before, this uh, hair sheds water very quickly. So once you uh, toss it around a couple times, and if it gets wet, if it gets swamped, which it's a great floater anyway, all you need to do is uh, one false cast and you're back in action. All right, take that wing. Let's put a little uh, wax on it. Loosen up my bob on just one turn. Seems like it's too tight. Alright, put the wing down. No longer than the tail. Pinch it. Straight down. A couple of wraps backwards. Everything on top. That looks pretty good. Now you want to cut away the excess hair at an angle. Don't cut that thread. There we go. That looks pretty good. Tie in behind the eye. Wrap it backwards. Let's cover that up a little bit. That looks pretty good. We're going to cover that up with some dubbing. Now we're going to take a hackle feather. Just choose one here. Got an old uh, dark brown uh, saddle from years ago. This is uh, from what uh, hairline. I select one off an of air that uh, looks pretty good. This one right, let's see what the size of that, that's too big. Uh, that's going to be just about right. Oops, got too many there. Alright, that's how that's going to look. That's going to look pretty good. Alright, let's go ahead and cut away, trim it down a little bit.
Take a little bit of the barbaros off the bottom. Now you want to tie this in with the doll side facing myself. A couple of turns. Bring it down toward the eye. A couple of turns back. Just cut away the excess stem. Nice and close. I'm going to grab that K-Pox stubbing again. Just a little bit. Let's get a little more than that though. That should be plenty. Should be plenty. Alright, let's go ahead and add this to the thread. I'm tighten up that noodle by wetting my finger again. That dubbing on. This is similar to what you would do on a stimulator fly. Alright, that looks pretty good. Right in behind the eye there. A couple of turns, don't crowd that eye. Perfect. Alright. Probably could have uh, covered that up a little better, but we're going to cover that up with a piece of feather here. Get your hackle pliers, wherever they may be. I get them up here. Hmm. Really? Where'd they go? There they went. Underneath the uh, that brown calf tail that I laid there. All right. Pinch the end of it. Spin the. Hackle with the dull side facing forward. Here we go, a couple of wraps to start. Just bring it up forward, up and over that little bad spot that I accidentally left. One more. All right, let's capture this now without crowding the eye. Oh boy. We're going to have to try that again, aren't we? All the way to the end and broke it. Alright, let's try that again. Let's not put too much pressure on it this time. The whole side facing forward. Wrap it up and over. One, two, three. Let's get over top of that one little area there. Four. And we'll tie off the fifth. Just like that. One, two, three, four, five. Let's cut it away. Nice and tight. Don't move on me too much here. And we're going to take our half hitch tool. Alright, good and tight. Cut the thread away. Looks good. And there you go. How's that look? Come out pretty good. Got yourself a little, a uh, little terrestrial style bug using calf tail. Like I said, it's a good little fly to use as a searcher pattern. It rides high. Super glue on the top there. And then we'll take a uh, feather and clean that out. And 
And there you go. All right, hope you like this video. Hope you like this fly. Take it out on the water. And uh, let, you know, let me know how you do on it. I uh, test every fly that I show you. I want you to, uh, if you tie something I show you, I want it to be a good fly for you. And uh, hope you enjoy. All right, cheers. Stay safe out there. We'll see you next time.